Hello, my lovely Leos. Thank you for tuning in for those who are coming back and for those who are new. Come again. <laughs> Tune in again. Okay, so I am about to say my prayer so we can get started on this Moonology read. All praises be to my divine energies. I am grateful for my days. I'm grateful for my blessings. I'm open to receiving the energies that I need to receive so that I can do this Moonology read for the Leos. All of my divine intuitive guides and angelic guides are welcome into this entire reading. Ashe. All right. I am tapped in. So let's see. Let's see what is the moon trying to attune in with the Leo. Okay. What else? What else? That's just one card. <laughs> also, while I'm shuffling, I am accepting personal reading. So, if you would like a 15-minute reading for 15 bucks, $15, <laughs> Go ahead and contact me. I have my email, my description box, and I also have all of my social media accounts in my description box as well. Multiple ways to reach out to me, okay? The reading will include a moonology read and an intuitive tarot read if you are interested. Scorpio, it's time to release negativity. Alright. Show you the card. If you've been feeling paranoid and acting weird, take this card as a very direct message from the cosmos to stop it. Worrying yourself is pointless. It's time to release any negativity you have around the situation you are asking about. If someone has been unkind to you, perhaps it's time for you to release them. This card heralds an emotionally intense time since both the full moon and Scorpio themselves are both extremely intense. It's time for you to feel all your feelings. There could be some nastiness in the air when you pull this card. If that's the case, take it as a sign to move away from anyone or anything you feel is toxic. For some, however, this card has a totally different meaning. Your sex life can improve now. If you make an effort, use your magic. You have all you need inside you to bring about your desired results. Attune to the moon. Emote. It's, a, it's all better out than in. Additional meanings for this card. It's time to move from living fearfully to living joyfully. You are right to have your suspicions. Grudges are toxic. Let something go. The end of an argument. The teaching. The full moon in Scorpio has a sting in its tail. It can herald a vindictive end to a relationship. It can also be a time when we want to be good, but we are naughty. If you pull this card, no matter when you are, when your dark side and your shadow self may be showing. The full moon in Scorpio is also a time of magic. If you were thinking of making some magic, this is your time and your sign to do that. <laughs> Next, Leo. I have fixed moon, hold your vision. And if you need to rewind or rewatch this video to get all of your messages, please feel free to do so. Okay, let's show you the card. Hold your vision. Fixed moon. There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you are in. The second, very different interpretation, is that something is stuck. That could, that could well be referring to the situation. 
you are asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheel so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great because if you really want things to change, there is a solution. Stop digging your heels in. Be the one to break a deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. Attune to the moon. Yes, just say the word a lot and see how it feels. Additional meanings for this card. Staying power. Faith or patience are needed. Someone needs to back down, avoid stagnation. A personal or professional relationship will be enduring. The teaching. In astrology, there are three quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. The fixed signs can be stubborn, so anything that's just starting as you draw this card may well last longer. Remember, we each have all the star signs in our chart. It's just the way the astrological wheel works. So there's no judgment when we say that while it's admirable how much staying power the fixed signs have, they can also be obstinate. Next, meditate and contemplate. And this is New Moon in Pisces. of dreams and romance of soulmates and poetry it suggests there is a new start coming your way that's connected to a matter that leaves you feeling somewhere between having your head in the clouds and being totally in an altered state there could be confusion and disappointment if that's what you've had before and if that's what you're expecting however if you're onto a good thing then wish hard because the words of your soul and your heart could help you bring about the manifestation or manifestation of your dreams if all that sounds a little wet and watery then that's pisces for you this is the last sign of the zodiac and in the new moon in pisces card can suggest a last ditch chance to make your dreams come true attune to the moon use your feelings to guide your way logic won't work, work right now additional meanings for this card face your dreams they may be holding you back this situation face your fears they may be holding you back <laughs> this situation is being healed it's time to surrender to the divine chant am namo nayani which means surrender to the divine Avoid being deceptive or willingly deceived. The teaching. Pisces is a sign of reveries and mysteries or depths of emotion, idealism and hopeless romantics. It is the sign of water and unconscious. Its energy is deep like watery depths. The new moon in Pisces indicates a time to listen to your feelings and to allow your emotions to free rain. <laughs> Whatever you're feeling as you pull this card is more likely than the truth. Unless you've been kidding yourself somehow. And only you know if that's the case or not. Alright Leos. The last card is Mutable Moon. moon nothing is yet set in stone mutable is all about change shape-shifting even that something is still developing this card indicates that something is indeed changing and there's room for maneuver so take it as a sign that the situation you are asking about is far from finalized if you are not happy with the current state of play that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. However, there is also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty but should stay with, a, stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. Attuned to the moon. I know that the best will unfold for me. Additional meanings for this card. You are mindering 
towards your goal and that's okay staying adaptable is the key to success for you now make sure you are not being led astray have you been have you become distracted if so time to focus stay with it whatever it means to you the teaching in astrology there are three so-called quadruplicities cardinal fixed and mutable the mutable signs are gemini sagittarius virgo and pisces and when the moon is in one of these signs you know there's going to be more flexibility in a situation anytime you pull this card it suggests there's the opportunity to keep visualizing and affirming what you want as there's still room for change so think about what you want and enjoy the daydream. Yay! <laughs> All right, Leos. Thank you for letting me use your energy for this four card monology read. All right. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the love and the light. All right. And especially if you love my energy and if any of my messages resonate with you, I will be returning next Sunday to do your readings. Adios. <laughs>